The Senate is scheduled to vote on its inflation relief tomorrow, along with the bill that would issue a nearly total ban on abortion. Yeah, that vote was pushed back because the debate on all the amendments to the bill last night was into the midnight hour and past midnight. Fox 59's Kristen Eskow sat through that debate last night, and she explains where the bill stands now. Kristen. Lawmakers did approve some changes to the proposed abortion ban, but one of the biggest amendments failed Thursday night. It would have eliminated the rape and incest exceptions from the ban. As the debate over abortion continues at the State House, Governor Eric Holcomb acknowledges it's hard to predict whether the Indiana House and Senate will be able to agree on new restrictions by the end of the special session. Can they come together? I'm, I'm, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not. Um, going to go out on that limb, uh, but what I will say is there is, this is relevant to the circumstance, but there's a lot of time left. Debate in the Senate ran more than five hours Thursday night. An amendment to remove the rape and incest exceptions from the bill failed as Republicans were divided. I think it's just trying to be a good dad and trying to understand the reality of today's sick, sick world that we live in. And I think it's important for us to not give in and subject the child to a death sentence. Among the changes lawmakers have approved, the Indiana Attorney General would be allowed to prosecute violations when the county prosecutor refuses. And the required affidavit for rape and incest survivors would need to be notarized. Still, both supporters of abortion rights and anti-abortion activists have concerns. Indiana Right to Life opposes the bill, arguing the mother's health exception and other provisions leave too many loopholes. A statement reads in part, to anyone one who might claim this is an abortion ban, we did not wait 50 years for the full reversal of Roe versus Wade for this. Lawmakers will be back Saturday to debate the abortion ban and take a Senate vote. If it passes the Senate, it heads over to the House for consideration there. At the State House, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thanks.